place of our greatest fall from grace or most painful setbacks in life only becomes a permanent monument if we allow it to remain there. But the path to restoration is a journey walked hand in hand with the Lord as we allow him to cleanse our repentant soul, heal our broken heart, and renew our faith in his ability to make these dry bones live again. Our encouragement to you today is this. It is our enemy that tries to bury us in shame for the sins we've repented from and uses our previous tragedies to keep us from moving forward after he's killed our dreams and stolen our joy. It's in his job description. Satan would like nothing better than to see the children of God wallowing in despair, afraid to embrace our God-given destinies because we believe the Lord's grace is sufficient enough to cleanse us but lacks the strength to restore us. We have not been given a spirit of fear. And as I have found every time I've moved forward in Jedi Survivor, that enemy that knocked me down last time will eventually fall. Did I mess up the first time, second time, maybe even the 10th time? Yes, yes I did. I was too careless, too clumsy, too cocky, or maybe I was just unfortunate in my original approach. But restoration is assured for all of the Lord's children who are willing to return to that place of previous defeat and allow the Lord to give us the strength to not only face them, but refuse to permit them to define us. No matter how we got into our place of trauma, there is a restoration for each of us on the other side of even our darkest tragedies, both in this life as well as the life to come. Now, how can we know this? Because in the Lord's infinite grace and mercy, he has blessed us not one, but two beautiful girls to bring restoration to our little family. And one day, we will all be reunited together on the other side. The Lord used the very place that once represented our deepest pain and loss to restore our joy. And we know that he can do the same for you.